Hello and welcome to another short video that is gonna speak about channels in order to understand selections. A channel is a part of uh, the image that can hold information about color or uh, transparency or depth and uh, so on. You can think about the channel as being a black and white image where black stands for zero, for null or for empty and uh, where white stands for full or maximum. An image in RGB is composed of three channels, each for a color. Using additive combining we get our full color page. For uh, more on this please uh, visit uh, and view my episode about color systems and uh, the short video with uh, RGB slides. In an image using 8 bits per channel, pixel color depth, we can have uh, 266 different grays starting from black and going to white. Uh, when uh, let's say let's pick the red channel it, when uh, that channel is going to be all black it means that we're not going to have any red in the image if the channel is uh, white it means that a maximum red covers the entire image if our channel is going to be filled with uh, half gray let's say 50% gray, uh, our image is going to have an overall red, reddish look uh, and the red it would be at the half of, the lum of its uh, luminosity. So in this case the values of the channel stand for luminosity values of the color represented by the channel. But we can use those values in other ways too. For example, when we apply a filter or an adjustment, we can uh, match black for out and white for in. So we will not apply these settings over the whole image, but using the channel, we will apply it over a selected part of it. In this way, are uh, Photoshop selections working? When we make a rectangular selection, Photoshop is going to create a temporary channel for holding that selection. We can clearly see that uh, if we're going to, to save the selection. It is going to be saved as a new channel. The inside of our rectangle is going to be white and the outside is going to be black. So the inside it's uh, like full selection and outside it's uh, null selection. And any gray in between is going to get in or out. So let's say that if we apply a Gaussian blur, uh, it will be where the channel is white and the selection is full, it means that the filter is going to be applied 100%. But if the channel is half gray, it's going to be applied in half, and so on. This uh, is the same thing that is happening when we do a layer mask. The layer is going to have his channel that is going to be interpreted as his transparency. Where the channel is black, the layer is going to have zero opacity and where the channel is white, is going to be at full opacity. So in order to understand better the next episode that is going to be about selection, we can keep in mind that when we work with selections, we actually work with a black and white image that is stored in its channel. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.